Thomas, hey. how's How it going? You? Hey, I have a microphone. That's amazing. <laughs> a dedicated microphone. <laughs> exactly. I'm always walking around with my dedicated microphone. Uh, How are you doing? So what, what brings you to New York? Well, there's this event called Revex. Oh, Have great. you heard of it? Yeah. Domino By a great Data company uh, called Domino. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Data science leaders, IT leaders getting together. Great events. <laughs> yes. Well, for those who don't recognize Thomas Bean, he's the chief marketing officer of Domino Data Lab. And... This is your second year of Revex, am I right? Absolutely. Second year we're bringing in the same venue, actually, all this community of financial, uh, financial services and insurance, uh, data science and IT leaders. But actually we expanded to other verticals this year. So 50% uh, more attendance, which is really gratifying and amazing lineup. So super happy. Amazing. And I know you've got another event in Philly, May 20th, right? Absolutely. We're bringing together the life sciences community for the second time in Philadelphia, May 20th. Last year was a great success. And I know the crowd is very excited. We have a lot of actually customers and non-customers talking. Amazing lineup as well. Great perspective. There's a lot of advances actually right now in life sciences. Thanks to AI, large transformation, we're all going to benefit from it with new drugs and such. So that's why it's always a moment that actually the uh, the, uh, the players in the industry like to attend. Yes, exactly. And I, I might attend that one as well. So if anyone's You're in always Philly, invited. May 20th, thank you so much. I know early in the day today, you presented about the survey, the Revelate survey that you guys recently shared. So what would you tell my audience the top three takeaways from that survey? So just a bit of context about Revelate. We do this at every one of our Revy events. And we want to get, this event is all about sharing perspective. So we're asking in advance to the audience, okay, what are you seeing? What are the challenges and such? And the three takeaways we've seen is that actually in 2025, we see a lot of investment in foundational AI activities. Yes, of course, there's a lot of innovation and agentic and whatnot, but actually enterprises are investing in their data pipeline, they're investing in their hybrid cloud capabilities. A lot of discussions actually at many level today uh, about this. And they're investing in governance, not only for regulations, but also uh, for quality, making sure you create value from, uh, from AI. We also see actually a widening gap between the self-declared leaders and the followers. Uh, the leaders, it's easier for them to hire. They have better ROI. Yeah. And given what's happening, yes, they are accelerating faster. So the other ones need to catch up. And then the last thing is the challenges actually interestingly remain kind of the same. Uh, you have costs, you have governance or the lack of governance. And then you also have two very interesting things because they're not technology related. The first one is expectations. Mm. Uh, what is the business expecting from AI? Very often there's a difference between what they expect, what they invest and what they get. And that's frustrating a lot of people. And then also AI leadership. It's hard because of these expectations, because of all the constraints. Yeah. It's hard to be an AI leader today. They have a short span or life expectancy uh, or job, <laughs> I should say expectancy. Life expectancy uh, so yeah. I, yeah, I went for it. <laughs> uh, but no, it's hard to be an AI leader. Uh, they have a lot of constraints. The role is still being defined, to be honest. So it takes yeah. a lot of communication with business stakeholders and whatnot. So this is a, a very a good roadmap on the things that we need to help fix, but also the community is going to fix over the coming years. Yes, and the follow-up on the leaders and laggards or followers, yep. how do you think those followers can catch up? I think they need to look at the uh, at the basics. Um, it's not by innovating necessarily that they are going to catch up. They can do it once, yeah. but their challenge is actually they can innovate, but they cannot take this to production. So they need to look at what they got outside of innovation. How does it need to be modernized or maybe changed so they can really with confidence put things into production? Then they might actually catch up. And, and innovate faster than the others. But it, the, it, there's no shortcut around this. Okay, well, there's usually no shortcut to great success. Exactly. Right, so quickly, I want oh, to- Oh, if I may, another yes. one, the, one other difference between the leaders and the laggards, it's actually that this notion of value is understood and agreed upon very early in the projects. Value it sounds of what? like common, of, of AI and the project. Okay. It sounds like common sense, but because it's innovation, people don't really think about it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but the best companies, the companies that have the best ROI are the ones who are really diligently saying, is this going to provide value? What is expected? That's, uh, that's also a good practice that needs to be brought to AI. Yes. So you mentioned AI and I'm curious, how do you actually use AI within your own team at Domino Data Lab to increase productivity? Uh, many ways. Uh, we are a lean team, so it's great to have. How lean? How many? 
Can you count them on one hand? We're about 20. No, you need five hands to, <laughs> okay. to, to count the team. So, um, the, uh, but we are living in such a market, evolving in such a market. There's always something new to cover. So we use, uh, generative AI mostly, okay. uh, for content creation, like everybody for to do research. It's actually quite good. There's always a human in the loop, by the way. It really helps. It does sometimes up to 70% of the work, but you need to do, there's no magic. There's no shortcut, as we were saying. Yes. Um, but yes, uh, the analysis, our capability to analyze data, our own data or market data to do some of the research. Deep research is pretty cool, actually, on most LLMs. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing this to get to understand what our options are a little bit faster mm -hmm. and then create the finished product a little bit faster. And is everyone on the team on board with this? Are they excited about using AI? They are excited because we're having these sessions where we're actually sharing best practices. Hey, here's a workflow, here is this. And indeed, they, they use it at their own speed and level. Mm -hmm. But now it's at the point where everybody sees the benefit. It wasn't the case a year ago. A year ago, like, oh, I'm not sure. Is this going to replace, uh, replace yeah. us? No, actually, now they understand it augments us. Mm -hmm. So we can do certain things faster, but there's still a lot of creative work that needs to be done by us humans. Yes. So yeah, we're, we're, we're not done yet. We're not being replaced just yet. Exactly. AI can't do this. No. You can't replicate. AI cannot stand in the streets of New York and uh, in the share an impromptu, <laughs> <laughs> impromptu uh, interview and discussion. Exactly. So final question is tell the audience, where can they go to get the survey, to look at some case studies, learn more about Domino Data Lab? Absolutely. Thank you. The uh, survey has been released today. Uh, we issued a press release, so you will see in the best publications. Uh, but you can also find it on our domino.ai website, so you can download the survey, understand what uh, what's top of mind for data science leaders and what are they planning to do. And on domino.ai, you're going to find a lot of, indeed, uh, use cases from our customers. We in introduce customer awards, the Catalyst Awards uh, today. That. That so cool. we're very happy. You'll see all of them actually on the uh, on the website. We'll have more as we go in Philadelphia and uh, in London. But yes, pl plenty of resources. If you want to learn more about AI in the enterprise and how it drives the drugs or the treatments we're going to have in the future, uh, the, how it keeps some of the financial services fair or actually defends some countries. There's a lot of work in defense at the moment. Yeah. Uh, go to domino.ai and learn more. Amazing. Well, cheers. Thank you. All right. On your way. Thank you. Bye. See you.